Now we're going to talk about releasing and restoring a smart installation on a specific computer. Um, there are two different reasons why you might want to release smart from a specific computer. The first one is pretty simple. Uh, if you decide that you want to retire a computer as an active smart workstation and then go install that same license onto uh, a different or new computer. Um, the second reason would be uh, if you're making any major hard drive upgrades or any major operating system changes to your computer, um, you need to release your smart license prior to doing that because uh, Almost assuredly, making those changes is going to result in a new machine ID. So when you go to uh, reinstall Smart after you've made major changes to your computer, it's going to think it's a new computer and it's going to try and use uh, another installation from your license. So you want to make sure that you release your license from the machine prior to making any changes. In order to do this, to release your license, with Smart Running, you go to the File menu and go to the About screen. And you're going to see a Deactivate Installation button click the deactivate installation button and you're going to get a confirmation screen which asks you again if you're sure just to make sure you don't accidentally uh, deactivate your installation and if you're sure that you do deact click the deactivate this installation now and assuming that you are connected to the internet it will call out to get the required codes and uh, backend uh, stuff to deactivate your installation and you'll get the screen that says this install has been deactivated smart will now shut down once you hit OK smart in fact will shut down the process for re reactivating smart onto a machine um, say you've finished your hard drive upgrades or changed your operating system or you're taking your license and installing it on, on a uh, completely new smart workstation uh, would be the same you would open smart in your applications folder you would get the program running and you're going to get the same activation screen you did as when you installed it the first time except in this case instead of just having a machine ID you're actually going to have a block code here now if you happen to be online the easiest thing to do is use the activate online now feature just like you did when you originally installed the program because at that point you don't have to enter any uh, block codes or anything like that it'll actually just call out across the internet it'll get the things that it needs it'll ask you for the information to uh, complete the activation and then you'll be good to go if you happen to be working on a computer that can't um, be connected to the internet um, you're gonna have to get your pen and paper again and you're gonna have to write down your machine ID and your block code and you're gonna go have to find a computer that is connected to the internet again you go to your account you log into your account and click on your software licenses click on the license that you're working with and then at this point you're going to click on the yellow button that says register new installation you're going to type in the machine ID and the block code this time because you're trying to reinstall or reactivate smart so you're going to type in the machine ID now for the purposes of this demo I'm actually going to just do it from here but you of course would need to copy it from whatever paper or whatever you have transferred over. Now I'm going to put in the block code. Again, I'm going to add a computer name. my name and my email you're going to hit submit and you're going to get an activation code now remembering that this is a computer separate from the one that you're working on you're going to need to write down that activation code go back to the computer that you're trying to install smart on that is not connected to the internet and you're going to enter that activation code And at that point, you're going to click Activate Installation. And you get the congratulations, activation was successful, and Smart has been reactivated on your machine. All the information that we've covered in this video can be found in the Smart V7 Licensing and Installation Help File, which can be found several places. A link to it is included in your email receipt, which comes with your license number right below your license number. 
You can also find it from within your account at my.rationalacoustics on your license page right here as a link. You can also find it on our main commercial website in the V7 support docs and FAQ link. And it's a PDF file, which we highly, highly recommend that everybody read prior to downloading and installing your Smart V7 license. Thank you.